first in my tutorial series of the Unreal Engine. Um, so just a bit of uh, sort of catch up really. Um, it's about seven years ago. I checked my YouTube channel today. It's seven years ago. I released my last hammer edit video. Video. Now I sort of went back into that a little bit and sort of played around with it, and then realised it's quite. I mean, the, the software is quite old now, and I sort of around the same time Unreal Engine got released to the public um, and I so and, and so I, and I sort of pretty much instantly fell in love with the Unreal Engine just due to the fact that it's so sort of dynamic you can do so many things in it so I've sort of sw I've converted from the Source Engine to the Unreal Engine um, so yeah so that that's that's what it really is all about so it any of my subscribers if you've got a question about how to sort of do something in the Unreal Engine that you used to be able to do in the um, in the Source Engine in Hammer Editor then just give me a shout and I can I can either answer answer that question or perhaps make a video to explain that so to get started um, with this I'm just gonna make a fun little ball spawner which will test uh, the engine <laughs> Um, there'll be physics. There'll be physics actors. So there'll there'll be thousands of them spawning at the same time. So what you need to do is first go ahead and create yourself a first-person shooter um, template. Just get all that set up. That's all you need for now. I mean, I've got my one. I mean, I've I've modified it, but you can see the ammo thing down the bottom right there. Um, and I've also got a sprint function as well. And, so yeah, and I've taken the gun out and stuff and the and the crosshairs. So what we're gonna do, um we'll go over here. So let me let me just show you first what we're gonna do. So I made this the other day. Um basically just shoots out loads of little physics objects and throws them in a big mixer and it's quite fun to watch. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Something like that. Okay, so let's first go to first person BP. Go to blueprints, so you see you got your blue blue yeah blueprints there. Um, I'm just going to delete that ball. Like that, just so we can start fresh. Just make sure my... Okay, let's just delete all of that. That's just stuff about it, so get rid of that. Okay, okay, cool. So what we're going to do is if we, in the blueprint section down here, if we right click and go to blueprint class, then go to actor, and then just call that ball like that, nice and simple. So if we double, double click on that, we're brought into the, the the viewport of that actor. So you can see here now that there is actually a big ball there already. That's just a reference point for the middle of this this sort of area. So you can't actually get to it. You just sort of go past it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to add component up here, and then go down to sphere. Uh, I'm going to resize it a bit, so if you just select that and press space a couple of times to select this, if we go for the middle cube, that will that will change the size um, pr proportionately, so we go down quite small, like that. And whilst we've got it selected over here, we've got simulate physics tick box, if you just tick that, that's all good, and that should be fine. One other thing, I think... That's fine. Okay, so we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, so we compile that and close that off. What we're going to do, <coughs> we need a reference point in the map somewhere where the balls can spawn to. And to make that easy, uh, if we just go to basic, and we'll grab a basic cube mesh like that, uh, raise it off the ground a bit. Like that. Make it a bit smaller. Yeah. Okay, so select that, make sure it's selected. Go to Blueprints, Open Level Blueprint, Blueprint. If you right click anywhere in there and cl click Create Reference to Cube 8, which is the cube we just made. So we go like that. Okay, so that means we can now reference that and do loads of crazy stuff. So, what we want to do first is we want to get the location of that in the world. So, if we do get location, so we get actor location out there. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to own an event tick. What this will do is it will, it will shoot out an exec command every time the game ticks. Um, I believe that's about a thousand times a second. Ding. 
don't quote me on that, but it's quite fast. So if we drag off of here, and then what we want to do is we want to get spawn actor from class. Spawn actor from class. So earlier on we made the ball actor. If we go down to ball, just there. So that's now selected. So we need to tell the the spawner where to spawn the ball. So what we do is we grab the return value from the get actor location and click it into the spawn transform input. And that is pretty much all you've got to do to make this work. So it's going to be a bit crazy. Um, obviously, if you've got a, a slower computer, obviously you might have a bit of a trouble with this. Um, so if we just click play, what it does is it spawns thousands and thousands of balls. Um, my my view is going a bit crazy because the balls are knocking into me. I haven't I haven't turned off any collision between the balls and the actor. So it gets a bit mental like that. Um, I believe they will they will die. They will get deleted after a certain amount of seconds. I'll just check how to change that. So we press escape. So what we're gonna do uh, okay, yeah, so we select the ball, and then on the right hand side here, sorry, go into the ball, select the sphere, scroll down, scroll down a bit. Cool, so yeah, so I, I had the physical ball um, mesh selected. So, what you want to do at the top where it says ball self is click that, and you'll see here initial lifespan. So, you can change that to like 20, so that'll be 20 seconds, and that will stay in the, stay alive in the game for 20 seconds. So, you can click play on that, and it will just spawn forever, but they'll, they'll slowly delete as it goes. So, okay, a bit crazy. So, if we go out of that, so. So let's say, for example, you want to slow that, slow that down a bit. Um, so if we go to the blueprints, open level blueprint, and then in between here, you want a delay, like that. A delay. So the default is 0 0.2 seconds. So that should be a bit slower. So we close that, click play, and obviously that's a hell of a lot slower now. So it's a bit more controllable. Um, yeah, so you can change that. So let's see, for example, I would like to. I made a little spinner thing, the same as the one you see in the mixer. So if we just spawn that there and click play. That starts to move them around a bit, which is quite cool. But yeah, that's just sort of a, a small intro to blueprints and creating something like this. I mean, I, I saw in a, a few videos um, sort of physics demonstrations of where people have spawned thousands of balls and just sort of throwing them around and done all sorts like that and uh, I thought it was quite fun so I figured out a way of doing it myself probably not the best way of doing it but it seems to work and my computer seems to handle it quite well um, so yeah if, if you've got any questions at all leave a comment um, and yeah thank you very much for watching the video